In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily build a cereal box solar eclipse viewer so that you can safely watch the once in a lifetime solar eclipse that's happening in a few days. To build an eclipse viewer, here's what you're going to need. First of all, a nice big cereal box. And you'll notice I got the family size one because we want one that's fairly tall and fairly thick or as thick as possible. Also, some aluminum foil, tape, some pins to make a pinhole, glue, a knife, scissors, and some either cardstock or photocopier paper or something to make a nice viewing screen. So the first thing we're going to do is carefully open our cereal box so that we don't damage the top in any way. And then we'll remove the contents, which we don't need. All right. This is going to be the core of our viewer. So the first thing we need to do is on the inside of the bottom, put some white card or photocopier paper so that we have a good viewing screen. And we'll put our cereal box right against the corner of the card and hold it down and draw some lines. And that is an outline of the bottom of the card. And so now what we'll do is cut along those lines, but actually quite a bit inside them because we want the card we're cutting to fit nicely inside the bottom of the cereal box. That should do it. And now we'll take some glue and put it on the bottom of the card like that. And if I hold the cereal box just right, and it unfortunately may still be too dark for you to see, I'm going to take this card and put it all the way into the bottom of the cereal box and push it against the bottom and move back and forth with my fingers. And now the card is nicely placed as our viewing screen. Now, the top of our box. The first thing we want to do is have a rather large hole on this side so that we can look in and see the screen. So what we'll do is, well, really just cut along here like that and along that side and like this. So on the other side, we'll need a small hole, probably somewhere around here for our pinhole. So what we'll do is cut a small hole like that. You can do it neater than I am. I'm trying to do it for the camera. It only has to be bigger than the actual pinhole, so that's all that matters. That'll be good, and we'll just maybe put an indent in this flap so it doesn't get in the way. That will work pretty well. So we'll take some glue and put it on this flap. We need some more glue. And we'll put some on this side, this flap, and maybe a little bit here and a little bit here. And we'll push that together all like this. And the glue really won't be strong enough to hold it. So what we'll also do is get some tape, put some tape maybe along here. like that. That'll hold things quite nicely. And now, of course, our hole is covered. So what we'll do is use a nice sharp knife to open up that hole once again. 
like that. So that's our hole. And now all we need to do is put some aluminum foil over it. So here's some aluminum foil and we don't really need very much. So we'll just cut a piece like that, get rid of the box. And I'm cutting it to be about an inch square or about two and a half centimeters square. Doesn't really matter. All it has to do is cover our hole here. And that'll do it. So what I'll do now is just take a couple of pieces of scotch tape, one for each side of our foil, like that. And we'll stick it over the hole. And that looks pretty good. And now all we need to do is poke a hole with a needle and I'm holding the needle in some pliers so you can see what's going on. But if you were doing it, I'd suggest holding it with your fingers and there's the hole. And that's it. Now we have an eclipse viewer. We can look in this hole and the sun can go in that hole and we'll see the sun on the screen we glued to the bottom of our cereal box. Now, what you may need to do is put some tape over the bottom here, some dark tape, to make sure light doesn't leak through the cracks because that could be very annoying. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. And perhaps even better would be some darker tape, like duct tape. All done. There's our beautiful Eclipse viewer. When you are selecting a needle or a pin to make the pinhole, Pick as narrow a one as possible because you want the diameter of that hole to be as small as possible. And the hole should also be nice and round and well formed. And if you find you've had trouble making the hole the first time, well, just remove the aluminum foil and try again. Do it right and you'll get a pretty good image of the sun at the bottom of your cereal box. And if you want to test it before Eclipse Day, which is probably a good idea, take it outside, look at it through the viewing hole, and make sure the sun gets at the pinhole. And if you orient it right so that the sun is coming in pretty much at right angles, perpendicular to the viewing screen, you should see an image of the sun at the bottom of the cereal box. And if you do, you might want to test it one step further by going under something like a tree with branches or something else that will get in the way of the sun. And you should be able to see those branches or trees or street lights or whatever over the image of the sun at the bottom of the cereal box. So that's the cereal box eclipse viewer. Really quite easy to make and very effective and a great safe way to watch the eclipse whether you're in the path of totality or outside of it and can only see a partial eclipse, still a really neat event to participate in. Of course, in any of those areas, you need good clear weather or you won't be able to see it. So I wish you all the clearest of weather on Eclipse Day. Have fun, enjoy yourself, watch it safely, and see you next video.